بسم الله والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين محمد الأمين أما بعد Today I want to talk about the central bank in Afghanistan and please brothers and sisters those of you that listen to me in this talk please try to convey this message to others who will convey it to others who will convey it to others until my voice is heard where it needs to be heard the the new government of taliban do not have access to the money and the funds of the central bank of afghanistan and uh, see the central bank in afghanistan as i will shortly show you is owned by the rothschilds i wonder what is happening because taliban did appoint one of the people to be in charge of the central bank but yet the central bank uh you can say is either not cooperating or the people and the authorities in afghanistan have to be very careful because they're dealing with paper money and the paper money is in control of others so they're going to give you problems and hurt the economy by their control of money and the only way out of it is to create a separate currency the sunna currency okay and so it is very very important uh i tell you it feels really good having sunna currency okay and see this is the sunna currency this is the type of currency that's real money not uh, the paper that you know we carry that's not real money this is the sunna currency and i'm going to be talking about this inshallah in the upcoming days about how if anybody wants these these is the first islamically minted coins and i'll be sharing information about this but for the people of afghanistan they should know this is real money not the paper money that their banks are giving them that's not real money that is something that it has inflation deflation its interest and all of this this is real money this is the sunna money and so everything should be based upon the silver and the gold as the prophet said sallallahu alaihi wasallam and i'm going to be talking like i said more about this you know i have uh, many of these uh, coins alhamdulillah uh, so let me just share with you uh, a few uh, important points in this regard uh, so you know this is this is sunnah money okay this is sunnah money so this is what you should try to get you should try to get real money because when paper money is gone when paper money is finished then this money you know let me see if i can show this those of you that were on my telegram uh, channel know uh, i was excited about these coins okay and so here it is brothers and sisters this is real silver and then of course you can get gold like this too okay and if you look at this coin just as a side point right it says what one khilafa one umma on this side and then on this side it tells you about the uh it tells you about the currency the uh it's 99.99% uh silver 10 dirhams and it is a sunna currency see that now i'm showing this so that it's clear to the people the difference between paper fake money that in germany at one time was used to burn fire because it cost more to buy wood than this paper money and we're headed for that same situation so please listen to what i have to say okay uh analysis of Rand central banks 10 billion stash this paper money that they're going to make the taliban run after this paper money it in fact has no value they need to go to the mountains dig out their gold and silver and in fact if somebody wants i know somebody who knows about mining that can help you that has contacted me so analysis of Rand central banks 10 billion stash mostly out of taliban's reach 
So this is what happens when you deal with these Rothschilds. Okay, they did the same exact thing in Turkey. Okay, uh, so here, uh, three countries without a uh, it, so here. Let me just share this with you. In the year 2000, there were seven countries without a Rothschild-owned or centralized bank: Afghanistan, Iraq, Sudan, Libya, Cuba, North Korea, and Iran. Does the list sound surprising? Well, now Afghanistan has a bank owned by the Rothschilds. Their influence is there. And the same thing happened in Libya, okay, and other countries. And now there are even fewer countries left for this. Um, let me also share, and let me be point blank about this. Besides the fact that it's the, sun, it's the, the Sunnah money is clearly not paper money, you know, this is the Sunnah money. But U.S. freezes Afghan Central Bank. What central bank? What central bank if you don't have access, if the government can, if the money can be frozen from a government, that is not, that's not in control of the government. And the West has tried very hard to say, oh, the treasury should not be in, in, in the hands of the government. They've tried very hard to make this point. So those central banks in which, you know, the Rothschild family has certain influence. And please remember this picture, okay? Remember this picture because I'm going to show you something interesting as we uh, move forward in this discussion, okay? Uh, so uh, this was before. And now I want to show you a complete list of central banks owned and controlled by the Rothschild family, okay? One of those banks... Is the Bank of Afghanistan, okay? And this not, did not happen too long ago, okay? You can also get this in Wikipedia, a uh, list of central banks. As you see, the the bank, okay? The Bank of Afghanistan Bank. The bank is Latin, by the way, which was established in 1930. So. As long as you have banks owned and controlled in other countries, you don't have a state. A state, you cannot by definition have a state unless you have your own money. Okay? Unless the, your, your government is printing money, you, ha you don't have really any control. Especially if you have a lot that are going to oppose you. So I just wonder, Islam forbids the charging of interest. The major problem for the Rothschild banking system. Until a few hundred years ago, charging interest was also forbidden in the Christian world and was even punishable by death. And slowly what they did is they first got the fatwa in the Christian world that charging interest is allowed. It was considered exploitation and enslavement. Since the Rothschild took over the Bank of England around 1850, 1815, they have been expanding their banking control all over the countries. Uh, over all the countries of the world. Their method has been to get countries, corrupt politicians, to accept massive loans, which they can never repay, and thus go into debt to the Rothschild banking powers. This is exactly what happened to the Ottoman Empire, by the way. If a leader refuses to accept the loan, he is oftentimes either ousted or assassinated, and if that fails, invasions can follow, and a Rothschild usury-based bank is established. There is a reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَعْزَنُوا بِحَرْبِ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِ If you take the interest, know that there's a war against Allah and His Messenger. Because you have then aligned with those who are willing to go to war, to enslave your people. Okay? As long as you have paper money, your people are slaves to that banking system that gives them the paper money. And I'm going to show you something about that in just a few minutes, inshallah. By the way, if you don't know about the Rothschild family, you can look up many things about them. Even in Wikipedia, they talk about their business, their banking business, so on and so forth. I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to assume you know about what this family and other families like this have done. In fact, there is a list of banking families, like the Goldsmith family, the Rothschild family, so on and so forth. And so these are the different uh, families. Now, let me connect this with history. The Templars that came from Jerusalem that were fighting the Crusades came to Scotland. These are the same people, and I have a whole YouTube video about this. These are the same people that started, what? Banking. 
these people that who were the banking the bankers and the magicians that's what the magician does he shows you this right and next thing you know he he he, he said here, I'm going to give you this. And next thing you know, in your hand is paper money. And in your in his hand is two of, or three of these real coins. You see? That's the magic. So those magicians, the Templars, okay, they, they, they're the ones that established these banks. And then the families like the Rothschilds got involved. And they even gave loans to the Ottoman Empire, which caused the downfall of the Ottoman Empire. But let me now share with you something, okay? So that you kind of understand. Uh, so these are the families that are involved. You know, uh, the Goldman Sachs family, for example. Okay, so there, there are a lot of these families. It's not one family. It's a whole bunch of families. Now, for example, if we take uh, the Central Bank of Libya, for example. Okay, the Libyan Foreign Bank. Okay, the Libyan Foreign Bank. If we take that and we look at the Libyan Foreign Bank and then we take that. And that is actually owned by the British Arab Commercial Bank. So then we go and we look at the uh, Arab, you know, uh, commercial bank that they have, which is, this is the Libyan bank, but the Arab Commercial Bank, okay, then we look further and further as we dig one company owning another company. So this company now owns that company. Okay, so let me just read this. Is the United Kingdom Financial regulatory body okay formed as one of the successors of the financial service authority the the company that we just were talking about okay so pra was created by financial services act and so now what happens now this company is being controlled by uh these people the financial services act whose symbol is the same symbol as is used by the rothschild Okay, and uh, you can go and dig deeper and maybe some of my information is not 100%, but a lot of it is. The obvious facts are, this is the Rothschild Company website. Uh, now, uh, this is the Rothschild Jewish family symbol that you see over here. It's the same, you know, this is uh, the Rothschild, Rothschild family is a wealthy Jewish family originally from Frankfurt that rose to prominence and so on and so forth okay and uh, then what do we have here uh, then let me show you this so what is happening uh, in Afghanistan Afghan central bank allows merchants to withdraw $25,000 monthly now when you read that you're like oh, okay that's you know but they control your money you don't control the money in your land let me explain this way from the perspective of the seerah when the prophet built the masjid the first thing the prophet did sallallahu alaihi wasallam is he built the marketplace because having independence you know the jewish people had their marketplace in medina and the muslims had their own marketplace their own their own marketplace in medina but they reused real money in both those marketplaces okay they didn't play this magic trick yet Okay, that we have going on today. And so, what happens as a result? Now, uh, the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, after building the masjid, La tatruku, don't leave aswakakum lil yahud. Don't leave the, the marketplace for the Jews. No, have your own marketplace, the Prophet said, after building the masjid of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Same thing. If you want Afghanistan as Imaratul, uh, Imaratul Afghanistan, you know, of Islamiyya, you want an Imara that's Islamic Imara, well, you can't do with paper money. You can't have a Khilafah with paper money because that paper money is controlled by other powers. Okay, let me, and I wish that the brothers of Hizbut Tahrir and Tanzim Islami they would also understand this point. It's a very, very important point, and it adds to the thought of the great thinkers like Dr. Sir Ahmed Rahmatullah Ali. So the Da Bank, okay, this, okay, is written in uh, in Farsi on the top, okay, and in Latin on the bottom, okay. And so this is to just show you the, the foreign influence that the Bank of Afghanistan has. 
And then uh, let me also share with you over here. This is Haji Muhammad Idris. Haji Muhammad Idris uh, is the current acting governor of Afghanistan Central Bank. Okay, since Taliban took over. Okay, but this person, it is claimed over here, Idris has was the head of Taliban's finance section. He has no formal financial training or higher education, which means that Haji Muhammad Idris should know this is real money. Please try to understand this. Forward this video till it gets to this person, you know, because while he is so-called in charge of the central bank, what is happening? The government doesn't have access to money. Uh, slams Taliban for, uh, you know, anyway, so they were upset this person was made in charge of the central bank. But of course, no one's really in charge of a central bank since actually owned by Taliban puts together a team with unproven credentials to fix a sinking economy. You can't fix the economy and they know you can't fix the economy as long as you're dealing with paper money. Okay, they know Af Afghanistan can't fix the economy as long as it is dealing with paper, fake, fraud, riba based banking system. Okay, as long as you're dealing with these institutions, you are enslaved to them. Taliban, as of now, is enslaved to these institutions if it's trying to fix the situation through them. Taliban name acting head. So Taliban names. Okay. Uh, I wonder if, you know, look at these coins. You see these coins? They came up maybe because I was talking about coins. I'm not sure exactly. Taliban name acting head of central bank as economic turmoil grows. Okay. So they're probably betting on the fact that, uh, that Taliban... Uh, as educated as alhamdulillah they are but they won't be educated enough to know the tricks that are being played upon them and one of the major ones is what is real money what is real money this is real money this these this is real money you know and for those of you that are interested in getting these i'm going to do a probably a show to show you how you can get these inshallah also um, so this is basically what I wanted to share with you please spread the message spread the message spread the message so that if because of you they get the message you will get the rewards for that okay jazakumullah khairan assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh